Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. If you love your Fire Stick or Android device but sometimes get frustrated with the lack of functionality the remote offers or if you don't like the hassle of having to install a mouse toggle to get certain apps to work then I hope you will find this video useful. We're going to take a look at a really cool mini keyboard and mouse that may just help. So when you're ready, let's go and take a look. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. I expect at some point we've all been here. You install your favourite app and then you are asked to sign in. Now whilst the remote that comes with your device is great for general use, navigating around and basic functions, when it comes to filling in login screens, this can be frustrating and tiresome. Also, although most apps on my device work fine with my remote, there are times that the remote does not have the functions I need to access some areas of the screen. This is a mini keyboard and mouse and has all the functions of a full size QWERTY keyboard with an integrated trackpad you can use as a mouse. Not only is it a keyboard and mouse, it also offers most of your regular remote control buttons too. The best part is it works with nearly any device that has a USB port as it uses 2.4 GHz wireless technology. Your Fire Stick, Nvidia Shield, B-Link and any other Android device you can think of. It can also be used with your PC, laptop or games console too. One thing to mention though, if you do want to use it with your Fire Stick or other Fire TV device, you will need an OTG cable or adapter as the Fire Stick doesn't have a built-in USB port. I'll put a link to recommended OTG cables and adapters in the description below. It's powered by an included lithium rechargeable battery, which will last up to 240 hours of continuous use from one charge. The charging port is micro USB and you do get a charging cable inside the box. Setting it up is really easy. Removing the back, you will find a USB dongle receiver that plugs into a USB port on your device or into the OTG if you're using it with a fire stick. On top, you have the on off switch. Now, I do recommend turning this off when you are not using it to save the battery and allow it to last much longer in between charges. Although it does have an automatic sleep function that kicks in after a short period of inactivity. Before I show it you in action, let's just quickly take a closer look at it. Across the top on the left you have controls for volume, play pause, rewind and fast forward. In the centre you have the trackpad which you can use with one finger to move the mouse pointer or use with two fingers to scroll. On the right you have a navigational pad and OK button. And below that the QWERTY keyboard. Once you have the USB receiver plugged in, you don't have to do anything else. It is a plug and play so you'll be able to use it as soon as you plug the dongle in and switch the keyboard on. When you do, it lights up and the backlight feature is pretty cool. Press and hold the function button, which is the FN button in the bottom left, and tap the F2 button to cycle through three different backlight colours, red, green and blue. If you want more colour options, press and hold the FN button, tap the F2 button to turn the lights on, and move your finger across the trackpad. You'll then be able to choose from seven colours, purple, blue, aqua, green, yellow, light blue and red. 
After several seconds, the lights go out, but this is a great addition and pressing any button will light everything back up. And this really helps in dark conditions. Now using the keyboard to log into Netflix is so much faster. I don't even need to pick up my Fire TV remote to move around the Netflix app, as I can use the controls on this mini keyboard to navigate around, select and even pause during playback. I can also now use the trackpad with apps to reach parts of the screen that were previously inaccessible without having to install a mouse toggle. There are a few differences to get used to. For example, there is no back button. So if you are using this with a Fire Stick or Android box, you can use the escape key instead and it does exactly the same thing. But once you've mastered the controls, you will wonder how you ever managed without it. The one I'm using I picked up from Amazon for around £12 in the UK and in the US it costs around $15. But there are other variations of this mini keyboard. Just click the links in the description or pinned comment down below to check out my recommendations. Do you have a mini keyboard? If so, which one do you have? And are there any tips or tricks you've learned with it that you'd like to share? If you'd like to check out the mini keyboard for yourself, you can find links in the description and pinned comment down below. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow. There's also a brand new thanks button YouTube have added that allows you to show your appreciation even more to your favourite YouTubers with an animated super thanks. And to give back to my subscribers and all of you for watching, there are some really great giveaways that you can enter for free on my website by going to firetvsticks.com forward slash win. Products and services that you can win change on a monthly basis, so make sure that you keep this page bookmarked so you can check back regularly and enter all of my free giveaways for your chance to win.